Hello and welcome to the next part of Shutdown. Last time, um... Well... Fuyukun is starting to become increasingly more fascinated with death. And I don't think that Agape is much of a fan of that. So yeah, let's see how it continues. I have a feeling all of this won't end well. Hmm, here there also wasn't commentary. This is a lot of stone. Ah. Oh. <laughs> we've, we've reached the summit! Yahoo! I wish you wouldn't raise your font size so suddenly. It startled me. Also, um, what does Yahoo mean? Well, several things. Also, font size. I don't know. It's just what people say on mountain peaks. When you face the opposing mountains and yell out Yahoo, the words get returned to you in layers. Is that so? Is the mountain replying to them? Or perhaps, having heard the yelling, a group of nearby humans have returned to call all at once. Uh, well then, when you hear Yahoo, you're gonna return it. Come on, Goyokun, say it. I'm fine, I'm not used to making my font size big. It's easy, just use attack to specify it. Come on, this time let's face the, hum the mountain over there. Go on and say it. Yeah, Yahoo. Huh? I can't hear you. Say it with a bigger font. Yeah, Yahoo. Nice, nice. Come on, let's raise that by one PT more. Yahoo. Nahaha, <laughs> wasn't that a great Yahoo? Now you can do it if you try, Goyakun. I feel a little funny inside, like a mix of being happy at your words or feeling like you're making fun of me. And I feel like I don't like it when you tell me what to do. Oh, festival. Wow. What's lined up here? Goldfish scooping. What does it mean to scoop goldfish? Uh, this is called a festival. It's when humans all get together and throw a huge party. These are stalls and each one's got food or some kind of game to play. So goldfish scooping is a game where you scoop goldfish with a... Uh, some kind of round bag and you just scoop the fish for fun. You can keep them after as pets. Uh, so fish can live in human homes. I thought that fish can't live outside the sea. I thought about how it would be nice to have fish on the desktop. How would it feel? Would it be fun to watch them swim? Pets are when humans keep creatures without eating them in order to just love them. So I'm sure watching them would be fun, right? Is that so? That's nice. Choco banana. I feel like I've heard these words before. But why are the words put together? Are they not words I know, but one with a new meaning? <laughs> Aren't these the same as the ones you know? Just bananas covered in chocolate. Food can be cut, dried, boiled, and processed into all sorts of different forms. When you heat up chocolate, it melts. It becomes water ish. But when cold, it hardens. So you dip the bananas in while it's hot. I see. So what is the purpose of doing this? Why do so much just, just to apply chocolate? Who knows? Mr. Bananas taste better with chocolate. I thought some things taste worse though. How complicated. There really are so many different kinds of humans f human food. If it was me, I'd be troubled just trying to choose one. Commentary for every single store. It says ice here. Are these packaged? Uh, this is shaved ice. It's just crushed ice with syrup on top. Apparently it's tasty. Ice is solidified water, right? So humans will ingest water even in this form. 
festivals are held in summer after all. I heard in Japan it Japan it gets super hot. If humans get too hot, they die. That's why humans in this time are always looking for ways to cool down. Eating ice is being one of them. I heard that the PC we're on won't work as well if it gets too hot. I wonder if it's similar to that. If only the PC could eat ice. If it did, would a feeling of cold be transferred to us? So many big questions in these in this game. A fried octopus is written here. I know this. The octopus is fried. <laughs> Bzz, wrong. It's not just octopus. It's a fried dish composed of putting octopus into a batter made from flour and water. The octopus is still fried, so I don't think I was entirely incorrect. Besides that, Agape, you sure know a lot about human foods. I guess so, I had a lot of free time while drifting online, so I see a ton of sites. Among those, there was one where humans could submit recipes. If you looked up festival, a whole bunch of different dishes would come up. It was kind of interesting knowing about festivals and seeing how much humans love them. Oh, masks. Oh, what's this? I've never seen something like this before. These are masks. Humans would wear them on their faces. I don't know why, but apparently it's fun for them. I see. So just by wearing these, humans would have fun? <laughs> Guess so. Humans like to change their avatar too, right? But in order to add a mask to ours, we would need a dedicated image, right? So we can't wear them. <laughs> Don't fear down. Even without a mask, Goyokuns are already a real beaut, right? Please stop making fun of me using words I don't know. <laughs> I guess it was a compliment. Candy apples. This time I know what it is. These are apples covered in candy. Ding ding ding! Correct! Constant Goyu gets 100 million points. I don't really get it, but it seems I'm right. So candy is like chocolate. Does it melt when hot and harden when cold? That's right. Unlike chocolate, candy is sticky, so apparently it's easier to eat when it's hot. Easier to shape when hot. Seems like there's a doll that can shape the metal candy into anything you want. I want to eat dragon candy. In that case, I think I would want a human-shaped one. Really? <laughs> Wouldn't that just make it harder to eat? A cotton candy is written here. It's a candy process to look like cotton. That's right. If you put a hard candy inside the machine and spin the stick inside, I will become poofy like a cloud. I see. What do clouds feel like? Putting clouds in your mouth? What would it feel like? If you put in a lot, would you mind? You can't eat real clouds because they aren't solid. It's like eating air. I see. Even though they're so big, white and round, you can't eat them. <laughs> the way you get upset is just like a kid going to kun. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's the thing we all have to come to terms to. Not being able to eat clouds. Ah, so let's stand up the picture. What a shame. I like the festival vibes. I did think... I did find it was fun just to walk through it. Maybe a human will come see it too sometime. Maybe. I also had fun. Ah yes, the original cut and gacha. What are these? There are a lot of them lined up. Uh, these are gacha machines. It's a game where you put in money, spin a knob and get a random capsule. For the most part, they're about 100 to 300 yen per spin. And I've got a little collector items inside them. Since there are so many of them, that must mean humans really love to spin these. That's why they like to collect the little items. Collector items. Are these things they don't need to survive? That's right. Humans like RNG. They are attracted to the surprise of not knowing what they will get. A herd of money gets involved, that's called gambling. 
Only it doesn't seem necessary to live, but apparently there's people who do live for it. Wouldn't that just become a loop? That's saying I don't need it I don't need it, but I need it. <laughs> That's right, I heard different differ it heard differs on their individuality, but it seems there's humans that love those things that they don't need. For humans to live, just living the minimum requirements of living isn't enough. They need a support called love. I see. I don't think I really understand. Ah, yes, gotcha. Love it or hate it. Mostly hate it. What's this? It's spinning, I think. Mm, these are called pinwheels. When the wind blows, it makes them spin. They're made of paper. I see. Why does wind blow? It seems that it's blowing is a prerequisite. Does, that, does the wind always blow in the human world? I don't know. Don't look into it that much. I think it usually it's usually blowing, though. Like, just running, a human can make some wind. If one runs with a pinwheel, that's enough to make him spin. Does that mean, since there are so many pinwheels spinning in this gif, could there be a human running within a hidden part of this picture? <laughs> Maybe there are a lot of humans scattered somewhere blowing out the uh, air? I think it would be fun if a lot of humans were here to spin these. Why do you sometimes go back, Barry? A sushi bar. This is also spinning. But these aren't the same thing. What are these? Uh, this is a sushi restaurant. More of a one with a revolving sushi bar. Put the sushi on it so that the customers can just grab the favorites. Uh, so the revolving thing there is a food called sushi. It's food, right? The bottom is mostly white, but the top is red. Why? And there's something rectangular on it. The bottom half is rice. On the top is sliced fish. They cut it flat by filleting it. Doing it like that makes it easier to remove the bones and process the parts that are hard to eat. I've seen a video of it before. Then the goldfish will be filleted too? That's a fish too, right? <laughs> I don't think those are for eating, they're just for looking at. Uh, I know. It's not like humans will eat all fish just cause they're fish. Some taste bad and some are poisonous for to humans. Apparently goldfish smell weird if you try to eat them, so humans tend not to. Basically, they only eat the tasty fish. Is, is that so? In that case, are there vegetables or meat that are poisonous or taste bad too? Goyaku, you're so sharp, that's right. So people just pick the edible and tasty ones and then cook those to eat. 100 points. Why are you suddenly giving points? I kind of like it though. Are you counting, counting the points you get? A bowling ball. I haven't been bowling for a long time. Oh, I know this place, Koyokun. Can you step on that line up ahead? Why? Does this line mean something? Come on, just do it. Just step on it. Right there. Yeah, <laughs> just you should come and slide too, I'm waiting for you. Uh, wait. <laughs> Did you stab him? Boy, where did you stab him? Kotatsu! Oh, now they are under the Kotatsu. 
What is this? It's warm in here. That cloth we passed through on this table reminds me of a picture of a stage. When a, will one of those plays you mentioned take place here? <laughs> no, no, this is a Kodatsu. It gets cold in the winter, so humans start to long for some warmth. This table is designed to trap the heat from a heater inside. By putting their feet where they're standing right now, humans will warm up. I see. Wouldn't it be more efficient to put their whole body inside rather than just their feet? Uh, yes, I think rather than a human, that's something a cat would do. EMP3, the cat's called up in the Kotatsu. There's even a song about it. Cat? What kind of creature is that? If they prefer to be in here, does that mean they're cold? Uh, is, that, is that a human or a monkey? Uh, let's see, the ears are bigger than in humans. They got long rod called a tail stuck to their rear. They got huge eyes and are covered in fur. Uh, hmm. They walk on all fours and are about as big as a human's lap. And they got claws and nails that they scratch and bite people with. They are smaller than I expected. I thought they would be bigger. Are they really cute? <laughs> if you're describing like that, probably not. <laughs> Giant cats do exist. Those eat people though. I don't think I could find that cute. Why do humans like cats so much? Maybe we, we will find a nice picture of a cat later on. <laughs> train? That's an old train though. With a Catholic <laughs> train? Why does this picture keep shaking? Why is the scene outside moving? There are a lot of seats. This is similar to a bus, but it feels somewhat different. Oh, you're on the right track. This is inside a train. An old-fashioned one though. I see, so this is inside a train. The vehicle where people get stuffed inside. That's alright. No, this kind doesn't get as stuffed. This one's for going on vacation or something. Well, it's more relaxed for sure. I thought that humans were always in a rush. Rather than relaxing and heading towards the destination slowly, wouldn't they prefer faster? Mmm, I said before, right? Some humans like to always stay on standby. This is kind of similar to that. Sometimes humans will go out of their way to travel slower so they can enjoy the journey. So, some humans like to go fast and some like to go slow, is that right? Mm -hmm. How do I put this? The mood. Humans' preferences change with their mood. M mood? Um, are you talking about the humans' emotions? Yeah, that. It's kind of way too beyond our understanding, so like... I don't think either of us can cook up a good answer. I see. Even with all I've learned so far, I still can understand. The human heart? Was it? Seems so complicated. Well, I guess it would be to... a program. Who wouldn't even know where to begin when it comes to emulating uh, emotions. Especially emotions which aren't entirely reactive. Oof. A wedding? What is this place? It resembles a, a church. Bingo! It's similar. This is just a guess, but I think this is a wedding hall. It's where a man and a woman have a wed wedding ceremony. A ceremony? You mentioned it before, it's something humans do when one dies. It looks different, but can you do that ceremony here too? Eh, yeah, that's a bit different. There are many kinds of ceremonies. This one's for taking oaths. In this ceremony, a man and a woman get married in order to start a family, something like that. How are you gonna explain a family to a program? Usually after starting one, a child gets made. Mm. <laughs> You're kind of talking about it like it's an automatic thing. 
The ceremony just leads up to that, I guess. Though apparently it doesn't always work. <laughs> You're making it sound like it's fucking Animal Crossing. No, not Animal Crossing. Harvest Moon or something. <laughs> In front of the altar, they are chant in sickness and in health, yada yada. After saying yes, the couple kisses and the contract's concluded. The humans have all sorts of different ceremonies. We decorate them with many flowers and have many chairs. Do humans really like ceremonies? Nahaha, <laughs> you might be right. Maybe they just want to celebrate every big event with a bang. Though thankfully nowadays, not only men and women can get married to each other. This place looks interesting. This is... what is it? It's all patterned the same. What's this big monitor for? Uh, looks like a news station. A human would stand behind the desk and report recent news and a broadcast to other humans. Recent news, then. If I were to tell the humans something, I should put a report of how many times I've killed you. <laughs> news flash, I got past died again. Like that? Well, I guess that might be news on this PC where nothing ever happens, so maybe you can report the memory usage in real time. I think just by broadcasting it, it would more it will use more memory, but. If humans will see it, I want to try. Hope they like seeing the kill count. <laughs> Let's all know how many times you fail to get a rear me, so wouldn't it just piss them off? I have a feeling that Goyo really likes humans and Agape doesn't. Aquarium? What is this thing? So many of them. Uh, what is this place? Many transparent things are circling around. Uh, those are jellyfish. They are sea creatures that live underwater. Fish swim to move around in the water. These things though aren't so good at that, so they just drift and get pushed by the currents. <laughs> is that so? I wonder how they are programmed. For what kind of job were they created? Who knows? The world of humans isn't always logical. Some creatures just live to survive. Maybe jellyfish are like that too. Yeah, pretty much. Life evolution is just... You throw a bunch of different concepts at a wall and see what sticks. There's not a lot of uh, logic or purpose behind it. Otherwise, I don't think horses would exist the way they exist. <laughs> Hey Goyo, what's the difference between us and jellyfish? Our program is like the water currents, pushing us in circles. We're just circling this PC. Rather than messing with humans, all I do is bother you. Multiply, get killed, rinse and repeat. Don't do actions seem meaningless? <laughs> Sometimes I think of letting you find my source. There's times when I just want this game of playing house to end. That's kind of concerning. The place where the computer's logs should be stored are empty. The number of blanks white space keeps growing. There's nothing to record. Hey Goyo, what's the point of all of this? I'm fulfilling my job of killing you. That's one point, is that okay? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, right. That's fine. This is fine. Is it though? It seems that our virus program is suicidal. What an interesting uh, sentence to say. By the way, I'm getting anxious. The floors are hanging. 
is a called Wisteria flowers. Since it grows upward while its branches grow downward, it looks ha like they're hanging. I see. There are many kinds of flowers, huh? Why do they grow downward? Why are they called Wisterias? Is this related to Mount Fuji? Is there a reason why they are purple? I said I would get used to it, but I'm still fascinated every time I see it. That's great, Goyokun. I wonder if there's a difference between the wisteria and this picture and the ones in the human world. Thinking about it makes me feel strangely restless inside. I feel like questions keep popping out of me, with no way to return. Why is it like this? Why? Ah, I get it, I get it. So noisy. I know all too well just how curious Goyokun can be. Goyokun, what are you gonna do when you run out of questions to ask? When you've asked your last and nothing comes to your mind anymore? You'll see a picture and won't think anything. It's your time to dream about what's unattainable. <laughs> but I still have questions. I can't control it. I want to know more. I want you to teach me about humans. Sorry, I said too much. I thought Goyokun's just a naive baby software. I said it before, but I'm jealous. New things can only be made by humans. We're not capable of it. I wish I still remembered how to think of new questions. So many butterflies. What are these? I pinned to the picture frames. They are butterflies. They are pro prophilic and tiny kind of creatures called insects. They flap those fluttery parts to float in the air. Is that similar to how you flap, flap your wings? So really, so you really can fly into the sky like that. Looks like it. That said, my wings are cooler since they are the bird kind. Why are so many on display here? These cases aren't closed either, they're all open. Uh, these are things called specimens. Dead bugs that are all pinned into place. So yeah, everything on that wall is dead. I see, everything. It's like the insi inside of the recycle bin. Everything inside there is dead. Only things that will disappear. Do humans like death? I don't know. Generally, I think it's the opposite. For me, when I look at these, it kind of gives me a bad feeling. Displaying dead things because they are pretty. <laughs> if the humans got their hands on my countless corpses, maybe they will line it up like this and turn it into some kind of exhibit. Just thinking about it gives me, the it gives me shivers. It disgusts me. I think they're pretty. When the light shines on the wings, they look metallic. It's pretty. Well, yeah, if you think about it, such specimens are pretty creepy. Not gonna lie. Oh, hot spring. This is a bath, right? It looks similar to the place with the Fuji Mountain. You're really getting the hang of this, aren't you, Goy Goyokun? Have you grown up from baby to toddler? Uh, since there's steam rising, it's hot. Will humans enter that water? But you said they die if it's too hot. Will they be, will they be okay? <laughs> Good one. But you couldn't think about it. Why do humans enter steaming hot water if they can die from being too hot? Mm, let me think. Is that not humans use heat to cook? Does that mean the humans enter to be cooked? No. <laughs> why, are, why are you laughing so much? I'm sure you knew I would get it wrong anyways. It's just so funny. Ain't that fine? If the bats for cooking humans, they'll definitely be dying then. I don't understand jokes from the internet, Agape. Hmm. Then why do they... I don't know. 
The correct answer is that as long as it's not hot enough to kill, humans will find it relaxing. Even with the information you've given me so far, I don't think I would would have been able to guess that. Why would they do that? Even though it might kill them, the humans will still go inside? How mysterious. Just don't stay too long in a hot bath. Oh, paint. Oh, if it ain't a paint tool. You've got no choice but to doodle. Hey, stop that. You're not supposed to touch it. Too late. <laughs> I've already written your name on it. Oh. <laughs> I told you not to dry anything. Ain't it fine? Not like I was gonna save it. Come on, Goyokun, give it a try. Try signing it. Sign? Humans like to write down their names. Sign something when you write your name on a drawing or contract. It leaves proof of yourself. Proof of yourself? <laughs> what is that? You just typed that with the text tool. Shut up, I don't know how to draw. Besides, that thing you drew, isn't that just a copy of something you saw online? All you did was trace it. Well, this is something different from the proof of yourself you have in mind. Remember to clean it up. If you don't, the number, number of your corpses will increase. Alright, alright. <laughs> Incapable of creating something from nothing. Ah, these stones are very pretty. Ah, and there's nothing to talk about in here either. So we are just flexing. We're just flexing the pixel art. What's this place? It reminds me a bit of the bowling alley we passed earlier. But unlike this, this place has many cases left around. And the road is bumpy. What purpose is this for? Uh, this place is called a factory and has machines meant to make the same items in large quantities. A human would stand here and look for defects. I see. Since the machines are also programmed to work for humans, are they our friends? Sounds about right. They're just like us. Programs designed by humans that just make the same thing over and over again forever. But that making is just repeating the exact instructions. If humans don't put in the ingredients, they can't even bake bread. They can't really create anything, only change it. Agape, sometimes you say some strange things that bother me. I think I figured it out. Why? It sounds like you're rejecting our assigned tasks. Even though we were born for that purpose, you say you don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it. I'm sick of it, Goyo. <laughs> this isn't gonna end with... This isn't gonna end with uh, Agape begging for death now, is it? Oh, it's a museum. I've gone to one of these in VR before. I'm pretty sure the thing is back there. Koyukun, let's go. Uh, wait. He ran off. I need to catch up to make sure he doesn't do anything bad. I am anxious. Oh, I can... Yeah, of course I can go faster. 6.4.6 uh, billion years ago, a meteorite hit the human world. 
The life was born, something so statistically improbable could be called a miracle. Amazing. I wonder if Agatha gained this knowledge by looking at things like this. Being curious, just like me. I wonder if he's just a hatch. I should go see. Agape? Agape? Children are the fruit of human love, that's what they say. To create a child, humans must merge. Then male and female genetic data mix, a child is formed. This process is the result of making love. Hey Goyo. I wanna know what love is. The love humans talk about, the love I was named after. I wanna feel it, Goyo. I'm gonna keep my thoughts to myself now. <laughs> uh, what do you mean, Agape? Let's try mixing our programs, then maybe a new child could be born. <laughs> it seems I didn't actually even need to say it. Can you mix programs? Wouldn't that just infect? Hmm. The two of us, all we can do is change things into other things. We could never even fathom a new picture that wasn't already on the net or this PC. Even just making a new program, connecting to the net, or inserting another USB. We can't do any of that on our own. But we're the only ones here. Three thousand ninety eighty nine times. Are we just repeating the same process? I just want something new. I want to create something, are you? That's impossible. If we made any changes to our programming, it would just create errors and stop working. That's what I'm saying. If we mix the two together, it would just be a string of characters, Agave. Right, got it. That was a conversation. <laughs> it looks like you weren't on the D drive. At this rate, I'll have to scour through all the minor files as well. Today will be the day I find you. Jeez, ain't this enough? It's not like there even are any humans left to praise you if you find me. I can't stop. This is my job, after all. I'll have to look for you. That face again. If you find me, then all of me, including us avatars, would all disappear. Don't you get lonely, hey? Hmm. Okay then, all that's left is for you to keep searching every last nook and cranny. Well, it's not like I think you will find me anyway. Hmm. It looks very funny. <laughs> and there's no music again. I don't know how to put it into words, but something feels wrong. All these buildings look like stores. What's odd about it? Oh, I know! This is a shopping district. You probably feel like it's wrong because it's so deserted. Deserted? Are these stores um, lonely? Yeah, yeah. Well, rather than the stores themselves, it would be the humans who would feel that way about it. 
In the past, tons of humans would come to these shopping districts to buy and sell things. Apparently, many went out of business after a huge superstore got built. Customers stopped coming. I heard some stores found new means to attract humans and avoid the closing up, though. I see. Why did humans co stop coming? Does being big bigger or smaller make a difference if they're both the same stores? Seems it does matter to humans, bigger stores have more stuff, so it's more convenient. Since these stores could only specialize in selling one kind of thing, they couldn't compete with a store that sold them all. I see. If an upgraded version of me was created, would I feel lonely? I don't think so. My measly pranks probably couldn't hold a candle to what a version upgraded Agape could do. Something like me is probably already outdated on the internet. Hmm. The sound he makes when he walks is still very funny. Spider lilies? These flowers, what kind are they? They are very red. The petals are thin. They are red spider lilies. They say they bloom around a time called the Equinox. This time of year also when humans will pay respects to their ancestors. Not being a uh, not being a human's parents 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 kind of thing. I see. So does that mean it's a day where I would pay respects to my program's prototype? Mm, I guess it's more like a day for thinking. Whoa, the human that de that designed it is awesome. Humans will go to those graves we saw earlier and leave flowers and food as offerings. While doing that, they will pay respects to their parents' parents, their ancestors. Uh, do the graves eat the offerings? <laughs> Graves are made of stone, of course they can't eat. Then why do they leave it? What purpose does it serve? Humans will die without eating, but give food to something that can't eat? Why do something so pointless? It's called sentimentality. Yeah, unless I've got no clue. Maybe humans just do it to find some peace. When it comes to death, humans will cry, scream, laugh. Their emotions go haywire. So maybe they do it to put those feelings to rest. I see, if a way to pay respects, it would be like deliberately putting a folder I use in the recycle bin. If I did that, would I find peace? I don't know. That's kind of sad. What is this place? There are many desks and chairs. Is this, a, is this the train that has desks? Bzz, wrong. This is a classroom. While growing from small to big, this is a place where medium-sized humans go. Uh, what do they do here? Since they are desks, will they be typing on keyboards? Or using tablets? tablets? Sure, maybe. There are probably some people who did that. For the most part, though, they seem to keep textbooks. They use books and take notes while listening to an adult explaining the contents. That adult would be called a teacher. Schools would have a handful of them. I see. In that case, you would be the teacher, why? I would be the listener, is that right? Nahaha, <laughs> I guess so. Great teacher got his crash course on a human world or something. Humans don't record logs, so they would document the information by hand using a paper called notes. It seems they had to submit these to the teacher. Submitting handwritten logs to the teacher? Why does the teacher make them do that? Can't they just look at their own logs? <laughs> no matter how big or small, some humans love to stay on standby. So some would stay on standby even when they should be recording logs. So that's why the teacher has 
to do a check to make sure they're working. Is that so? In that case, I have them properly working, so there are no issues. Those logs are probably only full of how many times they've killed me. I don't want to see. So we are ignoring the flowers on the desk. Alright. Mm, storage. There are many flat prone items lined up here. Why? It resembles the exterior of the cottage. Also, some made from wood or bamboo. Does that mean this is wood? That's right. If we cut down a tree and split it in half, this is how the cross sections would look like. I see. Why do they have patterns on the surface? Trees are like plants and flowers in that they grow. They start small and just keep getting bigger, until they are way bigger than a human. So as they grow, the growth leaves behind those streaks. That's why even if trees all have similar marks, no two are the same. Grown bigger leaf streaks. Is it like that for humans too? Haha, <laughs> it's probably different for humans. When humans eat a lot of food, they build up a sus substance called fat, so I guess that could be a little similar to streaks, maybe. So if a human has a lot of fat, they can become bigger? Uh, it's not quite like that. Apparently it's bad for a human to have too much or too little. Seems complicated. It's bad to have too much or too little, but if they don't eat, humans will die. In that case, I should automate the process. With my calculations, I could maintain the human. <laughs> I could maintain the human. And menu by Goyokun. I feel like it would be pretty extreme. Sure would be nice if I could maintain a diet. But it's not that easy. Outside on the balcony. Are these for what is this place? What are those? This place is called a neonatal care unit. It's a place where people would put humans that were just born. What need is there to place them all here together? Do the small humans run away from the big humans? Do they require surveillance? Small humans can barely move on their own, much less talk, so running is pretty impossible. It's just, they can die really easily, so it's better to gather them up where you can keep a closer eye on them. Before, you said you wanted to combine a code and create a child. But even if it was su successful, would it not just die right away? There are no programs here besides us. Although it would be different if the PC owner returned to look after it. Yeah, if the owner came back, they won't, that's my guess. Someday they will return, unless you know a reason why they would not. Maybe there was a catastrophe or something. I don't know, it's just a guess. Aren't they just cheating on this PC with a different one? A better, fancier, cooler PC? Don't call it cheating. Playing with that once made them forget all about this one, even forgot, even forgot to turn it off. And even put it into sleep mode. That's probably what happened. I see. I hope they remember someday. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're dead. Fancy dinner. Oh, this, this picks up a red high-end restaurant. This shop must be from when your owner visited. Restaurant. Uh, plates and meals. Is this a place for eating? Yeah. Out of all the eateries, the most expensive ones are restaurants. I think, the pla think places like this usually serve western-style food. 
I see, so humans will go out of the way to come here in search of expensive food. Seems like pricey food tastes different. Oh, also humans just like to make some memories in these kinds of places. They come here and be like, please marry me before heading over to before heading over a wedding ring. Doing that will leave the locks in bold and make them harder to delete. <laughs> I see. Do humans keep all their logs? That doesn't sound like a log with any errors. Why keep it? Or will it call? <clears throat> that doesn't sound like a log with any errors. Why keep it? Or will it cause an error later? For humans, they rather delete their error logs rather than the ones without any. They like to keep the fun logs. The one they like to go to places that make the logs more fun. But there are also humans who keep all their error logs while the fun ones slowly disappear. You said that this might be the PC's owner's picture. Did they want to keep the fun logs? Or did these co logs cause errors? I wish I knew. I'm hoping it was a fun log. And alrighty then. I think I'll end this part here. And the music stopped again. Well, alrighty then. We'll find out why the music stopped again next time. So yeah, until then. Oh no, the music came back. So yeah, until then. Goodbye.